Catherine, hello. Hi. Hi. Well, come on in. Make yourself at home. I've got to run out real quick, but come on in and make yourself at home. Okay. Ooh, I'm gonna order a movie. Welcome to this week's Famous Five. We're joined by Eric Wolschlegel, communications professional here in DC, also known as the Donald Trump of DC and founder of Cribline. Eric, thanks for joining us. Well, thank you very much, Catherine. Of course. Tell us about Cribline. Well, Cribline was uh, sort of years in the making um, without really knowing that it would turn into a, a blog on real estate, uh, but it, it uh, resulted from years of providing advice to friends, family, um, colleagues on real estate in Washington. You sound like a house therapist of sorts. <laughs> the real spirit behind the blog is that I've almost always lived for free. And the market kept going up. I rented about every room out that I had to, 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 to rent. And I basically covered the mortgage with that, with that income. So the idea now is to find houses that would be really good investments and help people live for less than what they would otherwise do in renting. Do you ever get calls from expectant mothers mistakenly wanting cribs for their infants? No. We do not. When I filed for my, um, my, my trademark for, for the crib line, there was a, a company in San Francisco that was called Crib Spot, mm -hmm. looking to do a blog on real estate in San Francisco. But because I had blogged first, like by two weeks, um, I was protected by the trademark. He had to take down his website. Oh, good. I won. You did win, <laughs> and you're still winning. You bring up Cribs, and I actually want to know what's your favorite episode. Don't laugh, but uh, uh, I'm probably gonna laugh. Mariah Carey. I knew it. This is the shoe room. Blair is kind enough to help me put them on. I just remember she had this huge closet and all these shoes, and I thought, dang. Um, she had a butterfly room or something. She, because she was big into butterflies. I don't know. It wasn't like a butterfly garden, but it was like wallpapered in butter butterflies. I don't know. To let's edit that out because I could be very w wrong. You could call this the butterfly guest room. I like the butterflies. What do you think is the easiest to maintain? Houses, children, or pets? Well, I describe my houses as my children. Um, they require a lot of maintenance and you blow through your bank account pretty well. I have two historic row houses and they require a lot of work. I, I consider myself a trustee of the houses and, and I want to see to it that they're, they're full of life and that the integrity stays intact um, while I'm here. That's what my parents say about me. I recently saw a story. I read it on the internet. There were these three little pigs and they each built homes. Um, one was out of straw, another out of sticks, and lastly, brick. What do you have to say for that? It's a very costly house, um, and it's quite an investment. Mm -hmm. So the third pig made the best investment in his home. Over the long run, indeed, yes. Eric, thank you for joining us. Ladies and gentlemen, Eric Walsh-Schlegel, be sure to visit www.thecribline.com for the hottest resource in DC real estate. Go.